let's learn a really amazing stretch that you can fit in at any place in your day for your spine, side ribs, and shoulder area that's really going to free up the neck and jaw. Hi, I'm Katie, a licensed massage therapist, and I specialize in pain in the head, neck, and jaw. Uh, I love talking about self-care for these areas so much that I've created a series of online video courses to teach you how to get self-relief at home. So in addition to having a great stretch for the spine on this one, we're also going to be adding in the latissimus dorsi or lats in addition to some side ribs. The side ribs muscle serratus anterior is a breathing muscle, so it'll be important to add in breathing. I'm going to show you this stretch in the kitchen because I really like kitchen table height, but I also do this stretch sometimes at my kitchen table, um, at a handrail at a park, um, and sometimes I'll do it even higher up hand placement of my daughter's loft bed as I'm waiting for her to get in bed. So you can find your favorite spots and get different areas of your spine. After I show you this stretch, then I will talk about how this is great for the ladies who are pregnant to do this in their late stages of pregnancy. Then we'll go out to my office and I'll show you how to adjust the same stretch so that you can easily stick it in at your desk. As we're doing this stretch here, are your safety precautions. Keep your knees soft and bent so that you're not twisting in the knee and listen to your body nice and slow. This is a really slow kind of delicious style of stretch. So go with it that way. Um, I also don't want you cranking with the neck because if we loosen up the lats and we loosen up the side ribs, the neck being able to relax will follow. All right. So as you approach your kitchen counter, I love this height, and it also has this nice sticky texture for your hands um, so you can get a good grip. Uh, you're going to have your feet a little bit wider than hip width apart, and you're going to soften those knees so you have spongy knees. At this point, you're looking down at the floor and bringing that spine so that it's a little more straight, and you're straightening out that thoracic, which is your mid spine. Uh, you have, your fingers are grasped or at least sort of sticky on the counter and you can lean back just a little bit if that feels good. Always keep in mind if you've got any accidents or injuries, listen to your body and be safe. But from here, make sure that neck is soft, lengthened out and think about softening the jaw as well. So let that relax a little. You can remember to um, tuck and tilt. I'm going to take you through a few different things, but really you get to play a little creative with this one. Tuck and tilt with the pelvis. Uh, some of those motions you might feel a little bit more in the hamstrings, which are the back of the thighs. Then you can shoot one hip back and then shoot the other hip back. So we're alternating which leg might be straight and which leg might be bent. And going back and forth with that, as you shoot that hip farther back, you'll feel the stretch down the side ribs. Since these are your side ribs and breathing muscles, add in a nice breath to expand between all the ribs. Good. If you know enough about cat-cow from a yoga class, you can add in a little bit of that. You don't have to do anything to an extreme, but get in some like flexion and extension of the spine. Good. So now we're going to take it into a forward backward stance. I'm going to open the stretch into my left. So my left foot's farther back. And here we just sort of take a breath into that. Sink in, soften the neck, soften the jaw. I'm going to shoot that left hip back and look under the armpit. And now we're opening up this whole side line. We can even, if we want to, drop one hand if that feels right. Soft knees, expand the ribs and rotate. We can get a little bit of abs in there. You have to know your limitations with your body of accidents and injuries, so be easy. Keep in mind, if you're coming out of this early, you might be a little lightheaded, dizzy. So come up nice and slowly, bend your knees as you're coming up. There we go. This is the good one where we get to add in a little bit of 
our um, rotator abs, uh, internal and external oblique. There you go. You can sway a little side to side. Of course, do that on the other side. I'll let you do that on your own. As you come up, again, soften the knees, walk yourself up, use your platform for help, and there you go. You get to play with that and specialize it for your body. Let me do a quick talk to those pregnant ladies in the later trimesters. Our goal in pregnancy right before the delivery, if you're going for a vaginal birth, is that the baby's head is down and that they are facing towards the spine. That means that their head and their butt are out here in the front part. Those are also the heaviest part of the baby. Since it lives in a little bit of a fluid sac, when you hang that baby down from your spine, that uh, heavier sides will have the tendency to rotate to down. So if we look at this again, you'll probably wanna really widen out that stance. Let that belly hang. Now we can see how we're using gravity to help you of letting baby's back of the head and bum sort of rotate and hang down. This will also get you a great relief because baby's no longer going to be sitting on the bladder and having a little relief of not being on the spine. You may even be able to take a few relaxing breaths with that. All right, so let's go out to the office and I'll show you how to add this into your workday. Now that you've learned how to do that stretch at home, let's find a way that you can integrate it into your workday if you're doing a desk job and sitting on a rolling stool. All right, so same concept of trying to get those same muscles, keeping the neck soft and the jaw soft. So hands are gonna come onto your desk. You're gonna just take your rolling stool, which you get to take full advantage of, and shoot those hips back so that you can straighten out the spine and lengthen there. You can still do some of those cat-cow motions if you need to, but now look, we can add our rolling chair into opening up one side. Take the grasp of your hand on your desk and now opening up the other side. We can drop a hand if we only want to do one, shoot one hip back with the rolling chair and just come into where it feels good. Take those breaths so that you come back into your work day a little more focused and a little more relaxed. Thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram. I also have two online courses to help you learn how to get self-relief for your head, neck, and jaw. There is a free video that you can follow, uh, that you can subscribe to there, and I will see you in the course.